Good morning everyone and welcome to another vlog. Uh, we've started this morning off with a hustle and a bustle. Um, I have finished my book. Um, if you've watched the last two vlogs you'll know I was reading The 10,000 Doors of January and I finished it this morning and I was teary. It was a real, um, real heartwarming story and I really recommend it if you enjoy fiction. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. And now we haven't worked out yet and as you can <laughs> see, I'm in my workout gear already. So I think we're going to go and take Chloe for a walk. Um, so we're going to head out now and then we're going to head into our home gym which is downstairs. And I've got a new piece of equipment that I'm very excited to use. It's kind of like a mini a Pilates reformer so um, I'm going to be using that quite a bit in my upcoming workouts so I'm very excited anyway let's get this walk on the go it's quite a bit later now I managed to get in my workout and it was quite wonderful so I'm very glad that I did that I was doing a whole bunch of housekeeping around the house and um, I'm sorting out my candles at the moment, so if you don't already know, which I doubt that's likely, um, you will know that I'm absolutely obsessed with having any kind of scented candle, any fragrance throughout my house. I've got reed diffusers throughout my house and I've got lots and lots of scented candles. I love them. It's one of those things whenever it's my birthday or it's Christmas time, um, people know that I love them so much and they love to give me candles which I'm ever so grateful for so I always have lots in stock and I just I love them dearly so I wanted to show you a little bit of a life hack if you will of what to do when you've reached the end of a candle so for example I've got this Yankee candle here this is Moonlight it was actually a gift for my bridal shower uh, from my friend Kelly thank you Kelly and um, you can see it's it's heading towards the end now so what will happen is it will burn until the wick reaches the metal um, that is in the wick stand and then the candle won't be able to burn anymore and I don't know what other people do but I feel like it's such a shame to A throw this away because it is glass it can be recycled and B to um, lose out on the very very last bits of the wax and it's very easy to um, use the residue of that so what I like to do is once I've reached the point where it will no longer burn I'll stick this in the freezer and um, the wax comes loose very very easily if you stick it in the freezer I've seen lots of other um, suggestions of you know letting it burn and then using cotton wool balls to soak up the wax and I think what a waste you know that is not an uh, an environmentally friendly thing to do at all whereas if you just pop it in the freezer um, the wax separates from the glass and you can pop it right out and the same can be said for any type of candle um, I'll keep the wax aside so for example I have finished this one this was a birthday present from my sister I believe um, so I have stuck that in the freezer, I have uh, pulled out the residue wax which is so easy to do, it's really really easy to do, you just need to break it in half because the circumference at the top is smaller than the circumference at the bottom so it will slip out, it will want to slip out as one disc but you need to break it in half to get it out. So um, then I've just given it a wash so it's really nice and clean and easy to use now and I've got all the broken pieces of wax sitting here in this little cylinder that I've got here because I wanted to show you what I really do with the wax to make sure that I use all of the beautiful fragrance so I've got a bunch of these um, wax melt burners I don't know if you remember them when I was growing up you know you always found them in old people's houses <laughs> so I've got three that I like to plant all over the house along with all my scented candles and reed diffusers I'm that person I'm that crazy about fragrance um, so then what I'll do is I'll take the wax that I've popped out of um, the empty jar that I stuck in the freezer and then I'll just um, break a little piece so it's not quite half but it's fine um, so I'm going to just pop it in that top bit there that would burn the wax and I'll pop one in another wax melt so I'll pop that in this one and um, then I'll pop another little bit in another wax melt burner um, and then all you need to do is take the wax melt burner with 
the wax that's in it and then pop a little tea light you get to make use of the entire fragrance that was in your candle which I mean that that's the wise thing to do surely and then you've got this beautiful glass jar which um, I will remove the label off both front back and then underneath as well um, and then what I'm going to do with this one I do all sorts of different things uh, for storage of uh, well with the remaining you know the container that the candle came in so I've got lots and lots of Bath and Body Works ones that are beautiful for keeping cotton pads and earbuds and absolutely anything you can think of I mean they're great for storing your jewelry they they're just fantastic they're also beautiful so they make a really nice uh, focal point on your dressing table or um, in your bathroom so I like to do that as well but for today I've just gone to Discam when we were doing our run around uh, with groceries earlier today so um, I bought myself some of this Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom salts. These are the eucalyptus and spearmint ones for relax and relief because I've been suffering from really, really bad neck tension. So I've bought those on the recommendation of my biokinesicist. And what I'm going to do is I, I don't really want this bag in my bathroom. I'd rather have something really nice. And oh goodness, I've never used this before, but it smells so good. So I'm going to store that in this jar over here. So, I read on the back that you need about two cups of um, these salts in a warm bath. So, I'm going to use the lid as a perfect measuring cup for a cup. So, it might not be completely exact, but it looks roughly the size of a cup. So, um, I was thinking about putting in a wooden scoop because I do have those very cute little wooden scoops that are currently sitting in my bar salts container downstairs uh, that was actually an old candle that is now a uh, holder of my bath salt so um, you get you get the idea that I do this fairly frequently and it's beautiful that one's actually more like a ceramic um container it was an old trinary I believe trinary uh candle yeah I think it was um so it's beautiful and it's set up there but because um you need quite a fair amount of these bath salts I think that the lid will be the perfect measuring cup so I don't actually need a wooden spoon in there, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm just going to take this bag that I've opened right now. And I'm going to fill up this jar. So there we are. Doesn't that look beautiful? It actually looks like the candle did when it was full. So I've got that lovely jar that I'm going to go and store in my bathroom downstairs. Perfect for a soak when my muscles are all tense. And um, I'm going to... I've got about a half left in here, so about, it was about half in here. So now that this one is pretty much finished, it'll probably burn, finish burning this evening. So when that is finished, then I'll put this in the freezer tomorrow and I'll fill up with the remainder of this bag. So I'll have two beautiful same size jars that I'll remove the label of and they'll just look beautiful in the bathroom and um, they'll sit side by side and be perfect for when I need to have an Epsom salt bath and then I'll put the remaining plastic straight into recycling so um, I just thought that was a little bit of an interesting way to show you I don't know if any of you are such avid um, candle lovers as well but that you really maximize your use of a candle and I mean they're not the cheapest things but they bring you so much joy so you might as well enjoy them to the maximum and then I will plant all my wax melt burners all around the house as well so from that single disc that I pulled out of one candle um, you've got three wax melt burners able to use that wax and it will last you a decent amount of time. I should probably explain how to get the wax out of these things because people then again are now confused. They don't know how to get the wax out and then they go back to the cotton, the cotton wool scenario, which is such a waste, such a waste. Um, so again, I'll just take this as it is after the wax has melted and it's kind of lost its fragrance and I'll just put this in the freezer and do exactly the same scenario. So after you put it in the freezer, you kind of just poke it and the whole thing just lifts so it'll come out in a single disc again so where um, the top is part of the whole ceramic scenario like these two I'll just stick the whole thing in the freezer and do exactly that I'll just 
pop it out and um, it comes right out and then you can throw that bits away and then um, every now and again I'll just put these in the wash because they do collect some dust and it's good to keep them clean as well so I'll just put them in the wash they wash very very easily so it's very simple and um, I don't know if it's helpful at all but um, that's just how I use my candles to the absolute fullest and then uh, tomorrow is Father's Day so my dad's coming over for a bright tomorrow and I do want to print him a little something. My dad's very sentimental and um, gifts. Over the years, uh, I mean, it's taken me a long time to understand this, but over the years I've bought him so many gifts and, you know, some of them expensive ones at that, but um, I've just come to realize that my dad doesn't appreciate gifts like most people do. Um, his love language, if you've ever read the love languages or had them explained to you, is definitely acts of service and quality time those two things mean more to him than anything else in this world so um i'm gonna have him over for lunch tomorrow um but he is a very sentimental creature so i think i'm gonna print him just a little photo of us from our wedding and i think i'll print it on my hp sprocket so i'll show that to you because i know you'll be interested in that and it's kind of just like a little small thing that you can keep in your wallet or put on the fridge or something so something you know it doesn't cost much at all but it'll have a significant value to him so i think we'll do that so i'll show you that when i print it and i'm gonna go and light actually i'm gonna start now i'm gonna go and light all my candles around the house there we are so i've planted that one in this little spot so the wax will melt out and very soon this whole room will be smelling absolutely gorgeous. So here in the bathroom is the ceramic old candle jar that I mentioned that I had already cleared out. And I've got Himalayan salts in here for a bath. Not as good as um, Epsom salts, so I believe, but still not a bad thing. So I keep those there. And then I think I will store the newly filled wax melt that I've just done perhaps on top over there and then I'll just pull it out as and when I have a bath and then I have got my new Epsom salts filled in the old Yankee candle jar that I'll store here as well and as soon as that second jar of exactly the same size is finished which will probably be tomorrow. I'll fill it up and store it right here as well. So I'll take the labels off and then they'll look identical sitting over there. So that's it. That's my little hack for using your, um, your candle jars for some other kind of storage. And you could obviously do many other things. You could put your cotton pads here, but I like to put them in drawers, but I tend to use the same kind of thing, a different size candle jar and I store them like that. So let me know what you think. Good morning everyone. Today is Father's Day. I mentioned yesterday that I was going to um, print my dad a couple of photos on my HP sprockets and I actually never got around to doing it. So I'm going to do that right now. And I thought I would show you because I'm sure you're pretty interested. I mean, it's just inevitable that we've got all these digital photos these days and we never actually print them. Which is a real shame but anyway this little device it's it's not a hundred percent solution but it is um a great thing to have for things like this for uh, little place cards or for doing like a personalized birthday card or tag on a gift so um i thought i would show you because it is quite a nice thing to have okay so i've managed to switch that on now we go to my phone we'll open up the sprocket um, and then you can see here I've got a few wedding photos that I've downloaded that I thought I might use. Please excuse the crack in my screen. It is just the tempered glass. So it's not that serious. Okay, so now I have picked this photo, um, which I think is really cute. And you can add borders and do all sorts of like text and whatever, but I, I like it just how it is. So I think I'm going to just hit print there. And what does that say? It says your photo will now print. So now let's wait and see what happens here. Oh, something's coming out there. 
So the colour on this is not 100% so I can already see that there's a little bit of a pink tint to this image. But that's alright for what it is. I think it's really sweet. I mean they're perfect for, you know, sticking in your journals or putting on the fridge or like I said making name tags for the table or for making little cards, personalised cards. So I think that is beautiful. And then at the back you've got sticky paper which you can remove and stick onto something else if you'd like. So I really like this one of us dancing together. Oh, it actually wants to print it this way which is perfectly fine. I love this photo because my dad is smiling so brightly in it and it always makes me so happy when he smiles like that. So I'm going to print that one too. I think I might also go ahead and print this image of us walking down the aisle so you can see my dad's looking at Ryan I'm also looking at Ryan but and that's his mom over there so I think that might be a nice one to print so I'll hit the print button on that one too then I think I need some with my sister because we are a unit so I love that one of the three of us this is right as we arrived at our um reception venue so i'm going to hit print on that one too they've also got these really cute stickers that you can use so, i mean we could put the love one on and play around with that and just customize it exactly the way you want it to be and i think that's so sweet i love it this is such a nifty thing to have and i'll leave a da link down below if you're interested in using this kind of thing because I don't know why you wouldn't want fun honestly it's so lovely so I hope you enjoyed that all right I've finished with my little printing expedition I think it is so sweet um, I've got um, my dad and I the first time I saw him all dressed up in my dress walking down the aisle with my sister on the wedding day and then my dad and I's father-daughter dance, which I just love that. It's so sweet. I think he's going to love it. Um, so I might just stick these all together uh, just like I've laid out now. And um, he can put that somewhere special if he chooses. Or he can just pop it off and he can put these things on the fridge. I don't know we'll see what he likes to do so my dad is due to arrive any second and the battery on my camera has just run out so i'm finishing this vlog on my phone but i wanted to wish you all a wonderful day and i hope you've enjoyed this vlog i hope you've learned one or two things this is nothing groundbreaking but maybe uh, just something some points of interest and um i want to thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and i will see you most certainly in my next video bye guys